Good morning. So like every Sunday, I'm going to be doing a uh, figure drawing session. Um, I'm using the uh, Croquis Cafe. Uh, it's on Vimeo. Um, it's kind of like a uh, simulated uh, or virtual figure drawing session. They have time poses and the model um, poses for like five one minute poses uh, I think four four minute poses and then a five minute pose at the end so um, we're gonna get started here and just adjust the video and the app I'm using here is uh, Procreate. So as normal, I'll start out with just trying to uh, build the figure uh, as a stick figure just to kind of warm up first figure is always the hardest for me you know haven't uh, haven't been moving my pencil around today yet so just excellent ad world thank you let me know that all right next one I'm just working my way down the body. Just a simple, simple stick figure. Like I said, I do this just because I, I want to. I want to get better at it. Um, in order to be able to create figures from my imagination. And once I got the. Uh, you know the stick figure then I can start really blocking out the, uh, the forms and I'm not worried about how pretty it looks or whatever because this you know looking pretty and being a really cool drawing is not the point of these figure drawing sessions it's really just about trying to focus and get get my pencil moving and, and study things that I I want to study my dog's in the background chewing on a toy.
Hold on one sec. Sorry about that. squeeze this one in right here Other leg on the other side. This is a interesting pose she's doing. She's like kind of on top of the chair, the weird way. Okay, so that's all the one-minute ones. Next up is the four two-minute poses. And with this one, I think I'm going to approach it a little bit different. I'll, I'll do less of the stick figure stuff. And try to come in with more um, uh, bigger volumes. And I would say this is probably the way I draw most of the time um, when I'm starting to uh, lay out a figure. I won't I won't do the stick figure like uh, as much. Um, only time I usually do that is when it's like a really hard pose, but I want to get better at it because I, I know once I when I when I do draw like that it's it's easier for me to get the uh, poses from imagination I can get them done quicker but when I'm drawing like this it's looks a little bit better faster I guess Okay. 
if you guys have any questions, please feel free to shoot them in the chat, and I'm more than happy to answer anything. Um, helps me to keep talking. So, This is a pretty good model this week. Um, I think this is actually an older video um, of theirs. But she's she's got some interesting uh, poses. If you've ever been to like a, a real figure drawing uh, session, where you're watching the model, uh, you know she's you're actually there in the the room or whatever. Some models are really good. They can hold the poses, and um, you know they don't have any problems. But then other ones, you can see them. They're just struggling, you know. Especially when they pick like a weird uh, position that's not not a natural position where they have to like balance themselves. Um, and even though it's like one or two minutes, it's it seems like it's pretty. Uh, can be pretty difficult depending on the pose that the person puts themselves in and this this mod you can tell like who's done it before or whatever and this uh this model this week looks like that she is definitely done uh modeling before The most unusual pose that I've been drawing. Any anything that's uh that has a a difficult perspective, um, like usually like s seated poses or laying down. Those are usually difficult, or or anything where the the model is like inverted, like where they're uh, upside down to the camera. Um, there's been a couple of, uh, videos where they had, uh, models that must have, I think they were, um, performers in like, uh, either a s circus or, or some type of show where they had this big, uh, they had this big ring and she was, she was just suspended from the ceiling and she was, um, just sitting in this big ring upside down and it was very it was it, they were very interesting poses um and you know mo most models they'll do like you know they'll stand up they'll turn to the side you know hold their arms up whatever you know those are pretty common so you know you, you get used to kind of drawing those but then when you get a model that's uh, like inverted and um you know, you got uh, weird perspectives and stuff. It it becomes a little bit more difficult and unusual, but uh, you know, but it's good to to try to um, to get your brain to work a different way. Because when you do the difficult ones like that, the easy ones become easier. See, like this one, um, this one she's laying down in this next pose. So I, 
<laughs> now it shouldn't be super difficult just because she's in a a, a, a a different position it's kind of throwing me off a little bit and it really shouldn't but I don't know what it is so that's why you know I do I do these little I do the practice sessions to try to get um, get better at these I mean art is a art is a long process and you, you really have to to love what you're doing you know I I mean I genu genuinely enjoy drawing you know if I, I do it for for fun um, you know and do it whenever I have free time and it's just it's just what I do it's like I love doing it and I think if if you can find a if you can find the love and the passion for for anything you know not just drawing it, it makes it easier to to keep practicing and putting in all the extra effort and time Because it's, uh, I mean, I've been doing it for, you know, I started drawing when I was younger, like way young, like elementary school, but then I had stopped for a long time. I, I basically didn't really draw in my 20s, and uh, right around 30, I started uh, started drawing again, and I'm, I'm 37, so I've been, like, you know, like doing like actual serious like study, trying to get better, focused on that kind of stuff, uh, for about uh, seven or eight years now. And uh, you know, it's been a long journey. I mean, if you go on my Instagram, you can you can you can go back and just look at uh, <laughs> some of my first my first post. Uh, post on Instagram versus the ones I do now and it's and it's such a vast difference um, you know it's kind of nice yeah that's why like I I saved a lot of my uh, older sketchbooks um, I ended up having to throw a bunch away because it's just becoming like a boat anchor um, because there's so many of them but um, I did keep a, a, a few of them but I guess uh, what I'm saying is Instagram's kind of nice like that because it's like kind of a, a record of uh, my uh, artistic journey. And I can go back and I can look at those older posts and just kind of remember where I was at in my um, my study and my travels uh, for art. And you'll be amazed, like, if you know, when you look back, you, even like months later, if you if you're like studying regularly and, um, you know, you're keeping your sketchbooks and everything. If you go back and you look, you'll be like, man, I, you know, how did I this is so bad, you know, and when you're drawing stuff, a lot of times you'll be like, oh, this isn't bad. This is this looks good, you know. You know, it's time, as time goes, and you get better, your eye gets better, um, your coordination gets better, just everything in general gets better, so, so you're able to see, like, the, the mistakes that you make. Um, it's hard to, it's hard to see them when, um, when you're first doing them.
And I mean, sometimes you'll you'll just be uh, you'll get you'll get stuff right. And like I'll I'll go I'll go back and look at some of my old drawings, and I'll be like, wow, I can't believe I I, I drew that. You know, at that time, I'll be surprised at myself. But most of the time, it's it's like really cringy. And I'll be embarrassed about it. But, you know, it's all a part of the, uh, like I said, the journey. The only way forward is through. You know, each each drawing is just one step. Um, See if I can make her face a little bit nicer. That's it. That was five minutes. Didn't get super far. But again, that's uh, not the point. The point is to s study and try to understand things. So I think right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try something different this week um, to just kind of do some more studying with you guys um i have a uh i have another camera set up and what i'm gonna do is um i think i'm gonna do some studies out of uh, how to draw the marvel way so one of those books that you know i think a lot of people have um you know especially uh Growing up, it was one of those things that I would I would study. I would I, I'd uh, borrow the video from uh, the library and watch it. And try to try to learn try to learn how to draw. Um, so I don't know if this is gonna work a hundred percent. Okay, uh, that's good, man. Or, uh, I mean, like, I don't know, are you, uh, <laughs> I don't want to pres presume if you're a uh, female or a male, um, ad world, but, uh, anyway, um, that's cool. Well, you, you're starting at a, uh, um, you're starting at a good age and you're you're gonna be like really good if you keep up with it a oh boy okay sorry <laughs> um yeah that that's important to get uh good feedback you know if you if you have uh the right feedback from from people that you uh you trust that are going to um give you honest and uh, constructive criticism and that's that's a that's a excellent way to um, improve really fast 
because like I was saying, you're, it's, it's a lot harder for you to see your own mistakes. Um, especially when you're like, you know, as you're drawing something, um, it's, it's way easier. That's why, that's why like a lot of artists, what they'll do is they'll, they'll, uh, f- use a mirror and look at the drawing so it, it's reflected in the mirror because what it does is it flips the drawing um also you know like digitally you can you can flip the drawing uh um like say say for instance here um you know i i have I flipped it and now now i can kind of see like um you know where things are off balance and you can make adjustments because basically what you're doing is you're you're giving yourself like almost a, a new set of eyes. You're seeing it from a different uh, point of view or perspective. Um, and I'll do that. I'll I'll do this too when I'm when I'm drawing like a uh, like a piece, and I'll be like, man, there's something wrong with it. You know, I don't know. I can't I can't figure it out. And then I'll I'll flip it, and then then I'm like, oh, okay, I see. It's lopsided. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, do some studies out of the, the Marvel way book, um, just to kind of go a little bit longer today, this week. Um, not sure if this is going to work right, but we're going to see, let's see. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see the the book, and I am going to start studying from the master. Oh, this is nothing. I, I I'm I'm happy to um share my uh my process in any insight because there's so many people that I I used to watch and I still watch like on uh YouTube and uh learn from You know, it's only gotten better over the years. There's more more people, um, especially this last year with with the uh, with all the stuff going on in the world. Um, a lot of really uh, amazing artists have moved online um, to uh, you know teach, share their share their process. Um, you know, create a uh, more of an audience for themselves, and a lot of stuff. You know, it's it, it, once somebody tells you, like, um, you know, like this is how I do it. It's like, oh wow, why, how, why didn't I think of that? You know, and it just kind of open, it unlocks, unlocks a door for you, and that's how that's how it was for me. Um, You know, when I was learning, um, and I would just, uh, I would find a video and I'd start watching it and it, it, you know, some, some were better than others. And then, you know, you'll just find that one video that just like clicks with you, like, uh, on how to do something and you're like, oh, wow, I can't believe, uh, you know, I never thought of it that way. That's why that's why YouTube and can be such a, a powerful resource, you know, if used in the correct way. So what I'm doing now is I'm just doing copies from. Um, The Marvel Way book.
see if I can do that again. nowhere near as good and that so looking at mine compared to what's in the book here um, mine is too straight up and down and really what I want to do is I want to create more of that so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do that one again and this time I'm gonna start with the head So, uh, Ad World, what uh, what kind of art are you into? Are you are you into uh, like concept art, comic art, um, fine art? Push the head forward. Torso. So now. Drawings in ink. That's that's cool. See, so uh, see, so like more. Uh, do you study more realism? Um, do you like inking for like uh, visual storytelling, illustration? trying to make stories that's awesome have you uh, have you done any stories so far or are you just uh, studying to get better is uh, doing stories something that you want to do eventually That's a little better. It's a little. A little less uh, straight up and down. Alright, we're going to try. Uh, going to do the heads on the page.
and this uh, this head head method is uh, more of a Loomis approach to it but they're pretty much all very similar so draw the ball of the head cross for the center of the face side plane of the head Cut the head in the thirds. One, two, three. Be one, two, three. And I'll come down with the jaw. This is usually my basic setup right here. Um, but now I'm trying to incorporate some of John's stuff. Perspective is uh, perspective and proportion. I would say perspective is the hardest thing for me. Um, proportions um, can be very difficult to the the thing with uh, proportions, at least for the human figure, is I always try to. Uh, uh, relate everything to the head um, and I use that as a, a basic um, way to measure everything so if uh, you know if I'm if I'm drawing something in the um, you know that's most of the time that's why I'm starting out with the head uh, because I know like this part of the arm right here is Is that? I want to say it's about a a head, a head and a half. Um, and at the torso is a roughly about um, you know from from here to here is about three heads. You know, um, from the uh, from the crotch down to the feet, it's four heads. You know, I try. I that's the way I try to see things. Um, there's a there's a lot of uh, there's so many different books on like proportions and stuff out there, and it's one of those things that uh, the more you the more you draw the the better uh, the better feel you're gonna get for it. Cause like I don't, I won't sit out and measure everything. I mean I've done that before, you know when I was, uh, when I study or whatever I'll I'll do that. I'll measure things out. Um, just to try to get those um, ingrained in my head. And I really, I, I think John Buscema is one of my favorites, favorite artists of all time. Like, there's just something about the way he puts together, like, uh, shapes and faces. They're just, uh, 
like when I think of like classic, um, you know, classic comic art, I always think of him. And as you can see, I'm just, uh, I'm using that, that under, um, layer or that construction layer. I'm just using it as a guide. I'm not, I'm not too worried about following it exactly. I'm just using it to help me get, um, my features and, uh, the overall, shape of the head and the proportions you're wrong with the length of your shoulders Okay, let me, uh, I'm going to finish this real quick, and then we'll go to the, um, we'll go to the proportions uh, part of the book, and we'll, we'll look at it, and we'll, we'll walk through it. Okay, let's go. All right, so here's, uh, this is the uh, proportions, uh, the eight heads, uh, eight and three quarters. Um, so let's see what we can, uh, we can learn here. Now, when you say person's growth, are you, are you, do you mean uh, height, like uh, how tall they are? And then with the length of my shoulders, are you, and then are you are you thinking? Uh, are you talk? Do you mean like the the width of the shoulders? So I'm gonna I'm gonna draw this real quick. So, at the head, the shoulders start about a third down from the first head. Um, shoulder width is usually about, um, I want to say it's two heads wide uh, for like a, a male. So then this would be about your chest.
Sorry, I'm doing this real fast. I'm trying to remember myself. Okay, height, gotcha. So, so then you're talking about, uh, so that's, that's roughly what it is so so you got um, you got the head the shoulders are they start about a third of the way down between the um, the, the the chest uh, which is another head length and then um, the shoulder width is usually about two heads wide so if you take this and you, um, I think, no, well, maybe it's three heads wide. I guess, you know, it all, it all depends like on, on what kind of character you're making. I mean, I would just generally know, um, hmm. Trying to think of this because there's so many different variations on um, how you can do things, um, you know. Because when you get into like weird like character designs, like you'll get you'll get like a a short squat guy, and he may be like uh, you know like three heads wide or or four heads wide. You know, but then he'll have like, like really small legs and long arms or whatever. Um, you know, all all those proportions are, uh, or, or for me, are just like guidelines. You know, and once you kind of, I would try to rem remember, you know, like. Like what you you already know, it's uh, eight heads, uh, eight heads tall, um, and then now you got one, two, about three heads for the entire arm length, and then um, like I like I was saying before, and then it's uh, from the crotch down, it's two, from the bottom of the knees, it's about two again. Um, you know, it's just general stuff to, to get you, to get you in the um, ballpark because, you know, no one's, no one's going to be counting actual head, head lengths in your drawing and be like, oh, he's, you know, his proportions are way off. Um, you know, and the, I guess the only, I guess what I'm saying is, um, you know, know the rule, but don't let the rule constrain you. If that makes sense, don't don't let that be the uh, you know limit you when you're trying when you're creating different things, um, because you know you you can get a, a figure where you know you have a really long torso. You know, I mean this is this is especially like. Um, like what you'll see in like animation, um, they're always playing with the different uh, different body proportions in people to create, uh, you know, different characters.
different silhouettes. And for me, it's all about what looks what looks good, what what looks cool, what looks appealing, um, and how you mix your shapes. So. I mean, I hope I hope that makes sense. Sometimes I start rambling on about stuff, um, and I might lose the point. And hopefully, uh, what I said, uh, you know, you understand and you got something from it. Let's see. I um, just even drawing this one, uh, the eight figure, the eight head. I figure I I already kind of forgot where the uh, the portion proportions are and like uh, the links and the measurements or whatever but I kind of know I know by it like just kind of a feel when I'm drawing them about where things are or I, or I have like little shortcuts like so I know like if I'm drawing like the arm the elbow is always going to come about uh, where the belly button or the the end of the uh, for me the end of where the rib cage is on uh, on Bisema he he likes to make the elbows uh, a little bit longer come a little bit further down like they're almost like right at the waist. The taller and and uh, broader your your figure is, the more heroic they're gonna be. You know, the big shoulders, big chest, uh, long legs. And when you're drawing like. Uh, like comics or whatever that's 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 exciting you know um just like they're they say in the book and i and i want to say where is it at here it is you know uh john was talking about um the uh the difference between like a regular person and a marvel superhero you know the regular person you know he's he, he looks strong and fit but he's not he's not uh drawn in like superhero proportion or a superhero pose like big and like uh broad and expressive you know so I'll actually study this pose that Cap has.
See now, and this one, again, I'm 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 too straight up and down. I need to I need to create more of a uh, just a little bit of a lean to make it more more expressive. Also, his head. I'm gonna shrink it down a little bit just to make his uh, to make his body feel bigger. So let's see if I can get some adjustments to make this a little bit more interesting. See, in none of this, I'm, I'm not measuring any of this. I'm just kind of feeling it out. And the more the more you draw these poses and the figure, you'll you'll like I said, you'll you'll get comfortable with uh, you know these proportions, and you'll you'll be like, okay, when you're drawing something, you'll know if something doesn't feel right. from up big shoulders big arms big chest Well, it's nowhere near as good as John. But, uh, you know. Kind of I've probably drawn this thing like hundreds of times, this, this pose. Anyway, so that's that one. That's still not as nice as I would like it to be. But again, it's just a study. John probably drew his in like five minutes. It was probably like nothing. So let's see if I can draw the other guy.
making sure his uh, hips are the same height or his waist so that they match up in perspective. if I can pick up some of the way John interprets anatomy. That's probably one of my favorite uh, things about how John Buscema draws is, is the uh, the way he interprets anatomy. You know, he, it's not like super like uh, um, defined or people are shredded it's just just enough uh, hint of like the muscles and um, in the way he he, use, he puts his shapes together uh, it's just it's just enough and he and he, and he makes his uh, the all always marks in the right spot and emphasizes uh, the uh, different parts of the muscles that I, I just I find really uh, really appealing because for me I, I want to I want to be able to to draw fast and um, to be able to draw things clearly that's that's the number one thing for me um, like the the fast the faster I can I can get the the, the better it is because I get I get bored real quick uh, it's not bored real quick but I want to be able to uh, Put pieces out fast and things that I can be uh, uh, happy with. So I'm always looking for um, shortcuts and well, not not shortcuts, but maybe like um, ways to uh, trying to think of what I would. How I would describe this? Things to represent, like uh, like features or, or proportions or, or parts of the body. You know, instead of instead of drawing, um, you know, every single muscle. Like um, learning where to what lines are most important. To be able to um, describe the thing that I'm drawing, you know, to 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 be able to get it across, you know, the simplest way possible. Very, very much like uh, um, uh, like how Alex Alex Toth would uh, kind of talk about uh, drawing an art.
So if, uh, if anybody has any questions, um, please feel free to ask. So I think I'm gonna actually Here's some of those. Uh... So I don't know if um, this is something you guys do, but like when I when I'm studying, I'm I usually I very rarely ever bring it to like a like. Um, detailed finish or perfect finish. The only time I'll do that is when I'm actually drawing, um, like a piece or whatever. Uh, but when I'm studying, I prob most of the time the where I stop is at uh, the mannequin or a little bit of uh, extra anatomy. Um. Yeah, no problem, Ad World. I, I I don't know if I. Sometimes I feel like I ramble too much, and I kind of get off the uh, subject. But if um, if anything I said there helped you, I, I'm happy. Uh, because uh, you asking me questions and me trying to think about how I would explain it helps me to learn too. So like when we were looking at like the the eight heads high, I was like, okay, now how many heads is this and that? You know, I had to it it made me have to sit back and think about it, and that's that's good. Um, but anyway, like m most of the time when I'm um, when I'm studying, I'm I'm more concerned about like uh, the understructure and. Um, how to put it together because like when I'm when I'm drawing the and I want to make a pose or or a, or a draw it's that's the the hardest thing or the most difficult thing at times is the actual like pose of the person and the the more I can do practice like like this and learning like the basic forms the quicker I can I can move on to the uh, the cool stuff which is the details you know and the finishes of the drawing but if if it takes me forever to get past this part then that's a that's a problem the longer it takes me with this the longer it takes me to get to the uh, to the fun stuff So that's why I'll spend so much time just like doing the uh, doing studies like this, and and I think some of my favorite like um, artists on like Instagram or Facebook or anything like that is are the ones that show like their process, or I guess in general like seeing artists' processes. Um, and their drawings in various stages of development. Like so, if I'm if I'm looking, uh, you know, on Instagram and I see like a tutorial or something, and they have like these uh, mannequinized fixture or figures or stick figures or whatever, I'm like, oh, I want to stop and look at that, and I'll save it, and I'll be like, I like the way they um, they construct the body that way. I need to I need to do that. Or I need to figure out how how they did that and why they did it that way. Because again, like I said, this is a. Uh,
for me the the most important thing just what because once you can do this once you can uh break a figure down into like the simplest shapes then that's it you know you got it you know you can uh the world just opens up because I don't, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I think the thing that has that stopped me, especially when I first uh, was learning to draw, because I, you know, I always the whole point for me of learning to draw was to be able to like draw comics and, and tell stories or, or things like that, um, and I always felt that you know, like okay, I need to get to a certain level before I can do that you know like my art ability and one of the things that would hold me back the most is uh, not being able to uh, draw things uh, in exciting poses or whatever or spending like you know hours just trying to to get the uh the right proportions or whatever. And the only way to uh, to do that is just to keep drilling these simple uh, simple figures, and also studying from. Uh, I like to study from different uh, all types of different artists. So from animation to more realistic artists, fine artists, um, comic artists. And I like to just take different, uh, different aspects of, of those artists and try to incorporate them into what I do. You know, it's not a, it, it's, it's never going to be a, just one, um, you know, one study session and then that's it, you know. So if that's, if that's the way you think about, uh, drawing and, and studying and learning, it's, it's going to be a hard road for you. Um, it's a never ending process. And the, the the older I get, the more experience I get, the more I, I, I start to understand and, and um, really accept it, you know. You know, I, I just have, I have like pages and pages in, in my, um, I used to keep, like I said, I used to keep sketchbooks. Now I, I pretty much do all my studies digitally, but I do have like, um, you know, like I can show you on the, on the iPad, like see all of these layers here, all of these layers are all just studies. So like, um, I'll go through, I did these studies, these are from Andrew Loomis. So I actually um, uh, did a master copy of uh, his proportions. And it's funny that we were talking about that earlier. Um, I did this like maybe about three weeks ago. I was going through and trying to practice my proportions. And I like, I like this, uh, uh, this uh, more classic uh, and academic like kind of uh, figure studies. So then they had the female. This is the male. And this is from um, this is from uh, figure drawing from all for all it's worth by Andrew Loomis. One of my uh, probably probably it was the the first like real like figure drawing book I bought 
or studied from because and this is and it's really readily available online you can uh, download a PDF it's free it's in the public domain because it was uh, um, it was created so uh, so long ago now and it, it's a it's a great book yeah you're right there's no limit to perfection That's correct. I'm all, you know, and with uh, with drawing, I find that, like, I'll I'll try to I'll study something and I won't really get it at the time, but if I come back to that same thing like uh, a few months later or whatever, then it starts to click with me. It's 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 very interesting. Like, as you learn different things and you and you and, you, and as you're practicing. Um, you're going to find that when you go back and try to study the things that you did have trouble with, uh, it's going to get easier because you're, you're, you're unlocking like, um, steps in your mind. So then here's another, uh, page of study I did of Loomis. Um, and this was uh, proportions and perspective. And that's what I'll do is I'll, I'll take a, I mean, you know, today I'm, I'm just flipping through the Marvel book and I'm doing stuff and, you know, I'm not taking my time being too precious about like, uh, the work cause I'm talking to you guys, but, um, like these, these studies here, these Loomis studies, you know, they, they take a few hours or whatever, or an hour with, and I'll just like try to copy it as close to what he was doing as possible uh, to try to try to understand and get uh, get as much as I can from it. And uh, so we can just kind of keep going through here again, more Loomis studies. And then now this is a. Uh, just another uh, I don't know if this is a figure drawing session this this is probably um, me like just going on Pinterest and looking at uh, different figures I can see some um, Alex Toth figure uh, uh, down down here this would have been a this would have been a Toth study um so anyway let's uh we keep going through this and this was more Andrew Loomis um and this so I started I started reading uh figure drawing for all it's worth and I like I said I would go through each page and I would do all the I would just study all the the uh the figures and whatever on that page and uh and his methods and this is his mannequinization of the figure and just looking at this reminds me that i need to go back and um keep studying that so and again this is uh, this is the most important is so important to me when it comes to figure drawing is is uh the uh being able to break out those shapes and those proportions real quick and understanding them so this again is more proportion stuff um, uh, Loomis was talking about uh, you know standing versus sitting and where the proportions um, lay out on the figure when you're in different positions you know they they even even when somebody bends over it's the proportions aren't really changing you know you're still uh eight heads tall it's just how you how you carry those proportions when you um when you're moving the figure around so he has a a, f a few demos in the book with that and this here is more um just uh, studies, and I think these were pinup girls that I was studying here. Um, 
if you if you look at my Instagram stuff when I draw I tend to draw a lot of women on there um, and the I really l like the um, like the 50s uh, style of uh, pinup girl pinup girl art and stuff I think they're just like really beautiful like a lot of the drawings and uh, they're very attractive especially the the uh, the posing that the artists um, were able to come up with um, so I, I'll do a lot of studies of, of those like I, I study that like all the time it's more uh, Yeah, the X Men pinups uh, or X Miss pinups. Yeah, that's exactly what I was I was going for. Um, here's some more proportions, and uh, these are these are studies from uh, the Loomis book, um, or at least some of them are. And again, like I'll just I'll just crack out one of the books that I have, and I'll just go through it. This is more Loomis stuff, um, mixed in with some other studies. Like I was studying some hands here, and these must have been. I'm not sure where the, where I got these hands from, but. They're definitely more of a animation style. You can see more blocky. More Loomis stuff. These were just different studies. There's some Toth studies here. And like I said, I just have have like pages and pages and pages of uh, of this stuff. And I have some. Uh, I think I was study studying some Kirby in this. Some. A mix of studies here. A lot of Toth. Some more Toth studies. So this this is a I was watching a, a Dave Finch video. Um, if you haven't uh, if you haven't subscribed to his YouTube channel, you should. He's got a lot of. Uh, really good uh informational videos so i was i was watching his one recently on um perspective so i wanted to try it out and um it it helped out a lot you know uh he just showed a way how he he uh grids out the his page or his panel first um and uh just how uh he lays figures in there so that's exactly what I did. Take care, Ad World. I appreciate you stopping by and hanging out and uh, all the questions. It helps the time go by and it also, uh, you know, it, it's less crazy because I'm not talking to myself the whole time. But. I'm not sure who this is from. I think this is uh I think you say his name. This is an anime artist uh or or a, a animation artist. Uh Yo Yoshinara. I think is his name. I I, I bought a um I bought this awesome book. Um 
by him and it's a bunch of his rough work And again, like it's um, like I say, I like studying from all different types of art. I don't just limit myself to to comic art or or fine art. But this this book is really cool. It's got a lot of um, different uh, different poses um, at all different angles, and that's that's one of the uh, coolest things about. Uh, you know, uh, most uh, anime stuff and um, manga artists is all the different uh, um, perspectives that they that they do, and the the poses are really like uh, interesting. And you can see, just this is you know a book just full of all his like little like throwaway sketches. And uh, but these are the type of things that you have to to do to get better, you know. You have to put the time in 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 your studies. Um, but yeah. So anyway, uh, that's probably it for today. I appreciate uh, you guys who have uh, stopped by. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys uh, next Sunday, and we'll do some more uh, study. All right, thank you for watching. Uh, if uh, you like the, the video, you want to see more, um, please uh, subscribe. Thanks.